wake up, post up, round round in it, blossing on it, the diamond, my diamond. Ooh, spilling tea. That's what it looks like. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome back to Spilling Tea. So today we are going to be learning how to highlight. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I already have my face washed, um, moisturized, um, primed, and I have my foundation on, and I did my eyebrows. So all that stuff is already done. So I am ready to highlight right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So first off, um, I start with my cream, if that's what you wanna call it, liquid, whatever. Yeah, I start with that, and I just use, um, if you can see, LA Girl Pro. Um, and this is the shade Classic Ivory. So that's what I use. So what you want to do to highlight your face, um, you pretty much want to do your T-zone. And that is going to be where um, the light hits your face. You want your face to catch all that light. So <laughs> um, you are just going to take your stuff here and um, I don't use a brush for this I just use a little brush that comes with it because it comes with like a little it comes with like a little brush my hands like the same color <laughs> but yeah so um, I just take that and we are going to do sort of like a wing shape if that's what you want to call it under the eye so it's going to be like this it's going to be shaped like that and then you're also going to take it a tad bit over the eye and that is what will like snatch that nose so we don't just start right now. So we're just going to make the wing shape. And I am going to, well, I'm, honestly, I was trying to do this a little lighter, but it didn't turn out light. <laughs> I always end up overdoing it just a little bit. I just got some of my, my lash. But yeah, so you're going to want it to look something like that. So it's going up like this. So we're going to be carving those cheekbones too because that's where our contour is going to go. So yeah. And then um, you are going to do your nose. And this is how I do mine. I just do a line right down there. And then because I have a big forehead, um, I don't highlight very high on my forehead because I don't want a whole bunch of light going right there. So um, I don't go up too high. I just go like right there. Um, if your forehead's not that big, you'll probably do like the middle of it, but mine is pretty big. So that's as high as I go. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. And then you are going to want to do your chin. And I don't put too much on my chin, so I don't squeeze out anymore. I just pretty much use what was left from my eye. And you just put some on your chin there. And this is how your face is going to be highlighted. Just like this. So yeah, um, and what you do with your highlighting to snatch your nose, you want to figure out the shape that you want. You know, if you have a really big nose and you want to um, make it a lot smaller, you can bring this in more. But I mean, I don't think my nose is that big. So I don't do too much to my nose. So that is how you do it with the cream. And it should look just like this. Okay, so now that you have your cream all on, you are just going to want to um, dab it all in. <laughs> or, or blend it. Blend it all in. So um, you're just going to use your beauty blender. And here's mine here. It's quite dirty. <laughs> I really need to clean it. But um, yeah, so you're just going to take your, your beauty blender your beauty blender. 
the sponge and you are going to start dabbing. You do not wipe because you're gonna move this all over the place if you wipe. You're just going to dab it on your face, just like this, just dab. Because we don't want to move it, we just want to blend it in. So just dab, dab, dab that all over the place. See that? See how it's, it's still right there, but it is just sunk up in my skin. So, and you're going to do the same everywhere else. I mean, it might get a little, you know, tedious or whatever. With the more that you put on, the longer you have to do this, but you don't want to move anything because then you're just gonna have weird, I don't know, highlight <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> when we only want it in the spots it's supposed to be in, so. You see, I'm just dabbing this all over. And you can do it slower in certain parts to be extra careful. And then for my nose, um, I actually have three different sizes. I have this one, and I have this one, and I have this little baby one. And this little baby one is the one that I use around my eye. And that I use on the bridge of my nose. So. I'm going to do that just like that. Just like that. Oh, see, and I actually did it a little bit too hard and I moved it a little, if you can't tell, but it's not too much. So it is still gonna be okay. So if you mess up a little bit, don't worry. There's room to mess up a little bit because you are gonna put your contour right there. So you got a little bit of wiggle room, but you know, don't completely just ruin it. <laughs> down the bridge of your nose just like that and you just take that and you blend it all out just like so okay so Now that you have all of that all blended in, and I actually do mine very subtle, so yeah. Like, I don't have crazy highlight, I, and I also don't do crazy contouring. I do mine pretty subtle. But um, yeah. But now that you've done that, you want to set all of the cream slash liquid, whatever, that you just put on your face. Um, and I done got ahead of myself and put it on here already. <laughs> but so I am using this. Uh, can you see? Uh, oh, there it is. It's Sacha Buttercup is what I'm using. And I am just going to set, it's Sacha Buttercup setting powder. Just let me get that out all the way. <laughs> it's setting powder. So I am just going to set all of everywhere that I just highlighted. So I'm going to take my beauty blender that has an edge on it. It's another beauty blender, but it has that edge. It's not just rounded off. I'm literally just gonna put this everywhere um, that I just did. So it's going to be just like this. I'm going to put it on my eye. Well, under, under my eye, not on my eye. <laughs> And then you also want to try and get that same shape 
for your nose that you got when you were using your cream. And I'm just going to take the very edge here and I'm going to do right in between my eye. Right there. Well, like up. What you 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 see what I did? <laughs> up, up there. And then also do the bridge of your nose. Just with the edge of your beauty blender there. And then it will look like this. And then you just want to leave it here. Um, I leave this on, we're gonna be baking. So I leave this on honestly just until I'm done with my contour. And then that's when I um, take it all off. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't take it off. Um, you just lightly brush it off. But let me finish, let me do my contouring and then we'll get back to highlighting. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have all of my contouring done on my face. Um, I don't put too much on, so I don't know if you guys can see it here, here, and on my nose, and just a tad bit on my um, jawline here. And once you're done with that, um, so you're uh, highlighting setting powder has been sitting there for I don't know however long it takes you to do your contour this is how long I put mine on um, you can bake for as long as you want to the whole point is to get it to settle in with the oils um, in your skin and in, in, in with that foundation and everything so you can do it as long as you want I just don't do it super long because <laughs> I feel like it you know works out fine just doing it this much so, um, but once you are done, you've done as long as you want to, you just want to get rid of all of the um, excess. So you're not going to be like swiping it off. Like don't put any pressure on the brush in your face. You're just lightly wiping this off here because you're just getting that excess powder off. So that's all you're doing. And you still don't want to move anything like so just very, very lightly getting that off your face. Like very, very lightly. are all highlighted and that is exactly how you do it guys so I am going to finish the rest of this look and then I will be right back okay guys so this is the finished look right here Yes, yeah, so I am all highlighted and contoured and umbre lipped and uh, snatched. <laughs> so I'm actually, you know, I'm happy with how it turned out. You know, this is how I do my highlighting, my contouring, and you know, ombre my lips. So this is the final result here. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you liked it so much. You know, all these little how to's for beginners. Yay, beginners! <laughs> so I hope you guys liked this video. Um, and if you do like it, go ahead and hit a thumbs up and let me know that you like it. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. Go on ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can catch this tea every week. <laughs> much for watching you guys thank you so much i hope you liked my videos i got some more coming up for y'all thank you guys bye